Can I ask all of you to just stand up for a moment, please? I know you're just back from the tea break. And can you also do these stretches? Just stand and do your stretches. It's just that, uh, you know, you've been sitting for some time, and prolonged sitting is believed to be akin to risk of smoking by some of the researchers. Thank you so much. Please sit down. If you're wondering why a doctor has come in his lycra cycling tides to an event like this, I'm not surprised because I get the same reaction when I cycle to my work in hospital in my formal clothes. For someone who is uh, presumed to be driving a German engineered car to work, riding a cycle is not seen as midsummer madness at least by my, you know, some of my colleagues. And happily, some of them have already taken up cycling as a mode of exercise. For these heroes, cycle, bicycle is not a child's toy anymore. Definitely, it's not a poor man's only choice or a rich man's obsession. It is what is sustaining their work, fun, and freedom sustaining their wealth and health, and sustaining their life. Amongst these, you can see veterans being honored by the minister for consistently riding to their work over their entire lifetime. The middle-aged policemen, the media person, are also being found to be doing their bit over the past few years. You can spot our former district collector who led by example by riding to work. A younger generation businessman is also among the motley group of people whom I chanced upon when I decided to give this talk. As you can see, this is only a small group of people of different age groups, but I'm sure in the global scenario, there are many such ambassadors of change which should make us reflect on the possibility of transportation. And I think to myself, that we have so many options whose importance we have forgotten about. India has 8.2 crores of people with diabetes, and unfortunately, half of them don't even know that they have diabetes. And the disease is uncontrolled in half the people who know about it. Indians with diabetes may die at least a decade earlier than those without diabetes due to cardiovascular complications. And for the wrong reasons, India is going to overtake China to become the diabetic capital of the world very soon. The number of people with diabetes is estimated to be around 15 crores by end of 2045, which is an alarming 84% growth from the present situation. We don't sleep well. We are too stressed. We eat too much and we don't exercise. And I'm sure you all agree with me that the role of therapeutic lifestyle changes cannot be disregarded when it comes to preventing lifestyle diseases. Now, this might raise the provocative question as to what we are doing about it. My team and I have been striving to raise awareness about the importance of diabetes prevention and the control of diabetes. Uh, we have stressed the vital need to include regular exercise to more than 25,000 patients who attended our OPD in the last 13 years. Each year, November 14th, the World Diabetes Day, we have conducted various awareness programs to raise the noise level about diabetes, ranging from rallies, walkathons, marathons, art festival, cultural evenings, drama, uh, street plays, short filmmaking, exercise eve, and a cycling event. We have also, in collaboration with World Diabetes Foundation Denmark, conducted a campaign wherein we reached out to 100 rural camps, reaching out to another 25,000 people. The very practice of driving your car to your gym, parking it close to the entrance, and then taking the elevator, and then running on the treadmill, is a paradox in itself. So we incorporated an outdoor um, cardio 
group exercise program in a weekly exercise schedule so that the onlookers could join us as well as we could kill the boredom of indoor exercises. Unfortunately, despite all our measures, we have a very discouraging compliance statistics, which is in concordance with the national research data which appeared in Indian Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism. Two thirds of our patients only uh, adhered to the medication that we prescribed. Only half of them followed the dietary advice that we gave. And sadly, only one third took up the exercise on a regular basis. We realized that the knowledge alone is not enough to change the unhealthy behavior. What prevents people from following a regular exercise regime? There are a multitude of changes that goes through a person when someone is diagnosed with a chronic illness. Patients are depressed, they're dejected, feelings of hopelessness loom large before them as they cannot see the results of exercise, the benefits of exercise immediately or in the near future, they're not interested in investing time and effort. In India, less than 25% of people have any form of long-term life insurance policies. Now this reflects the disconnect that people have towards making long-term plans in taking care of their health. There's no dearth for excuses like lack of time, lack of support, lack of uh, immediate gratification, lack of persistence, and general lack of tenacity of purpose. We came across a doctor recently who became very popular for allowing his diabetic patients to take the direct sugars that they were craving for. This was followed by a steady stream of patients at his doorstep, and his strategy was very simple. He urged his diabetic patients to do repetitive spurts of simple exercises throughout the day and then rewarded them with their favorite sweets at the end of the sessions. Now this tactic fizzled out over time for obvious reasons, but it got me thinking. I saw in it an opportunity to get the patients interested in moving, in moving their bodies. The point is that patients were rewarded with short-term incentives. Now, people want to have fun, they want to belong, and they want to be rewarded. Now, what incentives can we offer patients to do regular exercises? You know, it's not easy for anyone to change their habits. Uh, changing lifestyle is, I feel, the biggest challenge people face when it comes to treating lifestyle diseases. But what if uh, a healthcare worker is to offer short-term incentive to exercise for patients? What if your own example can be the pivot that changes the perception about exercise? What if I told you that you can connect with nature, use an efficient yet simple machine, stay fit, bring down pollution, cut down fuel, make you richer, connect with family, and of course socialize with friends? What if the solution is as simple as cycling to work? Bicycle is the most efficient human-powered machine with a simple design where 98% of the energy used on pedaling is transformed into motion. Now, I rode to this program today uh, and I burnt around 250 calories without much effort. If I was to drive here by my car, I would have used one liter of petrol, which would have contributed to say 2.3 kilograms of carbon dioxide emission. I used very minimal space to park my vehicle. Uh, in times when children are having to play on a paid football turfs due to lack of open spaces, right? And uh, I think with this ride, I have completed 30% of the exercise that I was required to do for the whole week. You know, I connected with the world around me as I rode here. I saved 70 rupees on my fuel expenditure. And uh, I'm happy that I've reduced my carbon footprint. Now, aren't these incentives 
good enough reasons to motivate someone to adopt a sustainable exercise by riding to work. I'm asking you the question again. Are in these incentives good enough reasons to motivate someone to adopt a sustainable exercise by riding to work? In Amsterdam, cycling is a huge success with one with the ratio of one bike per 1.3 persons and almost 30 percentage of all their trips are made on a bicycle. Amsterdam and Copenhagen have very good infrastructure to promote cycling. Unfortunately, we cannot boast of such facilities in our country yet, although cities like Hyderabad has asked for a car-free day in a week to promote people, to encourage people to cycle to work. We all have our own mountains to climb and winds to face. I agree that there are many challenges and hurdles when it comes to cycling in India. Bad roads, potholes, lack of um, cycling tracks, lack of um, uh, yeah, stigma, and then lack of road safety due to you know, uh, traffic density, uh, lack of office facilities. Our weather is not very conducive for cycling, at least four months in a year, with sweltering summers and drenching monsoon seasons. Uh, my wife was telling me last yesterday that what if it rains, how are you going to ride to the work, I mean, to the, the, the talk? Um, then, but even then, you know, I had to sweat a lot to ride in the middle of the noon when there was an onlooker who just say, hey, and then he, uh, he asked me, are you <laughs> mad? Are you crazy? Yeah. So there are so many things, and we cannot bring our change, you know, all of a sudden. We need to take one step at a time. So basically making sure that we are seen on the road, cycling to work can actually force the authorities to bring about the infrastructure that will enhance the experience for us. On a positive note, Kannur Cycling Club had already talked to the authorities, and in principle, they've agreed to provide us a 28-kilometer long cycling track along the upcoming Karnur Mahi Bypass Road. <laughs> now, for governments to take any action, they require majority asking for, demanding for their rights, which means more cyclists on the road, more responsive they are going to be. Bicycle is a vehicle of social change. For those of you who have put your cycles away, it's time to take it back again. And if at least half of you sitting here can vow to ride to work, at least when the weather is fine, two to three times a week, it can make a huge impact. And in, if it is sustained, it, it can give short-term benefits in terms of um, helping you connect with the nature as well as the society. And in the long run, it can pay off uh, by benefiting your health and well-being. And it will be a very strong message for the next future generation to come. Now I'm going to ask you to stand up again, but this time only people who support and like the idea of riding to work, please. Okay. Great. That's great. Thank you.